This is a second writing prompt video covering God's calling for us into community or into holy community. Um, this last uh, video we talked about Abraham and how God shaped in Abraham a whole nation who became God's covenant people, his treasured possession, who were, these co covenants were based on his promises. In Ephesians 2, we get to see that God, through Jesus, grafts all nations into this reality of being covenant people founded on God's promises and so that all those in Christ get to enjoy in the blessing that that comes from being a covenant people it says in verse 19 consequently you're no longer foreigners or strangers but fellow citizens with God's people also members of his household and it's a beautiful thing that we are called into we're called into something into family and there's a uh, two verses i want to highlight that we've talked about at our church it says in him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the lord and in him you two are being built together to become a dwelling which god lives by his spirit i read that verse years ago ephesians 2 22 you're being built together to become a dwelling which God lives by His Spirit. And I realized something. Um, the Scripture teaches us that we're, that we're His temple, that we are the place where He abides. And I recognize that God dwells in me. But there's something more powerful um, and different about how God dwells in we. He's not just building something in me. He's building something in us together. But as we... Um, come into this family we become a dwelling place for his spirit and God even more specifically calls us to particular people and specific people much like how Paul and Barnabas were brought together or how the church in Acts 2 were brought together and it's important to see that God calls us to specific people specific bodies he calls our calls us to our kids to our neighbors um, and this is seen in the life of Jesus Jesus focuses on specific people that he was called to in John 17 he says he he starts his prayer not by praying for the whole world he says not by praying for the whole world but by those the father gave me and he he shifts his prayer halfway through to praying for believers who would come later but he was very specific to pray for those the father gave him and because we have to live life with specific people and God has called us to people. One of the ways that people often talk about community that's, that um, can be misleading is that we can only think about community as a resource. We can think about how is it helping me grow spiritually or develop and it absolutely is that. But beyond that, it is just a calling into love. It, uh, if we think of it as a resource to develop people, then we're missing, that's a part of it, but we're missing the, the deeper truth, which is he's just called us into love, into loving himself and into loving each other. And so the Lord's called it, um, us into community. And in this writing time, you'll look at, uh, there will be questions that will prompt you to think about the people that he's called you to and how you're a blessing to them and how they're a blessing to you. And I want to encourage you to think about 1 Corinthians 12 when we think about actually how we are a resource is that the, the 1 Corinthians 12 tells us that the Spirit chooses to apportion gifts um, as, he, as he sees fit. And there's all these different gifts, but they're, they're, they're there for the common good. And and, and even, um, you know, makes it similar to like the analogy of our body, like a foot or a hand or an eye. And if you think about it like this, a body is r really struggles without a foot, like struggles to walk and that, that provides great struggle. But a foot is worthless without a body. And so often we think of our gifts as like the main thing. But the reality is, is we're much more dependent upon God's people. Um, we, we get to contribute, but, we're, but we gain much more than we receive. 
And so in this writing time, reflect upon how God has called you specifically to people, how they've been a blessing to you, how, and because you can't understand any of your gifting and purpose outside of being called to people. Like, um, I don't have any desire to do great or wonderful things apart from people that I love. I, I want to walk with God's people and God's called us to be with his people. And so take, take these questions, write about it, and blessings.